this is Jim the Keys bartending coming to you from the Catch uh, restaurant here in Key Largo. I was just letting you know you can start anytime you want to. Uh, yeah, I did. I did. I did start. So um, today, I'd like to welcome uh, Luke uh, once again, our, our perennial guest, and my co-host Bill Wissinger. Say hey, hi. How y'all doing? Say hi, Luke. Hi, Luke. Yeah, yeah hi, Luke. There we go. Thank you, Gracie. <laughs> How high? Yeah. Uh, t- today's episode How high 46. am I? Not that high because my old lady stole my last freaking edible. I'm did, pissed, did, did man. She take jo- did she take a stash again? Oh, yeah, and Luke, she left thanks. me with absolutely nothing in it. Here we go. Oh, really? You're you're on a uh, a no weed. Well, I mean, I embargo. managed. I took what little bit of roaches I had left and made a little tiny pinner. And that's, well, there you go. Yeah, Hey, yeah, um, I'm not going to make a plea over there, but today's episode 46, and it's the backpack guy likes titties. Woo! Oh, man, that dude almost got punched in the face. Yeah, Bill, Bill was here for that. He wasn't, he wasn't a bad sort. He wasn't mean-spirited or anything like that. But I'm going to get in that. Uh, we'll go into the story at the end. Um, uh, the, the other day, uh, yesterday, we were at Blackwater uh, Siren. Yep. That was awesome. We had a great time. time. I, had, I had a good time. I mean, man. that's a place like where we outside, actually can be smoking cigars and other yep. things out there. You know what well, I mean? Yeah. Cigars. Yeah, I can sit in the parking lot there. You think you can? It's like I can here. You can do it here. Except for it's hot here. You're right. It's uh, <laughs> boy, it's not. Yeah, it's kind of under the. But you know what? We're we're at the Catch Restaurant every Wednesday. Uh, and they have happy hour at 3.30 to 6.30. Fantastic if you're visiting happy and we're in the middle, I know we're, we're starting to get some of our listeners coming down here now from uh, the Great White North, and I mean that from weather-wise. Okay. And, Speaking uh, of the Great White North, man, there's these uh, snowshoe hares that uh, because it's warmed up so much, they're not turning, uh, they're not getting their winter coat. They're just staying brown. Yeah, they're staying brown. Yeah. That's good, man. That's pretty bizarre. <laughs> That's pretty. Hey, you know what? Nature. Nature's a beautiful thing sometimes. It adapts quickly or it, it dies, does. I guess, is yeah, the, the whole thing. Well, uh, uh, Josh commented that he said that we talk over each other all the time. And no, I suggested. You're shitting. He, he, what? Yeah. You're shitting me. Yeah, I know. You're being sarcastic. <laughs> but I explained to him since we're Key's bartender, we want to be as mu- much like a, a bar as possible. Where we would talk, and this is kind of like my family life when I grew up. We used to talk over yeah. each other all the time, and you're trying to get like feedback from people. I listen to Luke. I listen to Bill. I don't mind. You got to let Luke be Luke. You can't cut into his time when he gets his stream of consciousness. Oh, you and, can cut um, in. It doesn't And actually, good. Uh, I told him that uh, I said, you know, this really works for us. It I does. really love the way uh, you know it works for it. Bill. Bill's kind of like uh, really even keel. His voice sometimes, <laughs> sometimes his voice goes up, sometimes it goes down. But he's, he's even keel. I'm a little more excitable, and I guess you are on the other end. Luke gets a little more excited than I do sometimes. Well, you get every push, now and push again. Push no, right which it kind of works. It kind of works. It works out well that the way we sit. Well, just we're passionate about certain things. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like the little girl that collects bugs, dead bugs. <laughs> I don't get She's that very one. passionate. It was a commercial. <laughs> and this little girl, I collect bugs. Oh, bugs. man. Dead, dead bugs. ones. Well, listen, I, I wanted to talk about one thing. It was really the thing. This past year, and it's a kind of a downer thing, but we've got one of the worst flu seasons that oh, they've had. No and we're in the shit. Keys. And you think, everyone thinks, oh, a flu, you think cold weather. Well, we got hit just oh. as bad as everyone else down here. I'm working on round two of the damn thing. It's about to kill me. There was only one person in our group right here that didn't get hit. I got, uh, no, he got sick. He was sick yeah, as hell. Sick. No, no, that was me. Oh, that's oh. right. It's you. Talk about myself. And I'm not saying I'm a... It must be a uh, fruity fruit punch that you drink. <laughs> yeah, Luke's pointing to my wine, but it's actually my excellent physical conditioning. No, it's just dumb luck. I think it's just dumb luck. I got a, uh, a flu shot, and the last time I got a flu shot, I got I got hit real bad when I was in the bed, but I was only in the bed one day. People said that's not the flu, and I'm telling you, I'd never been that so that sick. We all got get... sick because of jam night, man. Sharing jam microphones. Night, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and one jam musician night. gets well, sick, and then they up. make you do a jam one, one, night. One and more reason to hate jam you're night. You're singing an infected okay, well, night. Jam night's coming up uh, again next Monday, I think. Oh right? God. 
No, but are, you, are you working Mondays? Uh, normally, I would. I think, be I think you guys. This Monday, I think but I you and Bill Bowman. should be hosting it. I think you. No, and Bill. no. Neither one of us want to host a jam night, really. Well, you're the main personalities here. Why not? Because it's a jam night. Because it's they suck. Uh, it's just. You don't have to play. I mean, it's you know, a you lot can play of or not organizing play. And, and putting no, up with no, whiny ass anyway. musicians. They're here man. anyway. All you get up there is. It's like hurting cats. Yeah. Well, I do it every week, man. I'm doing it right <laughs> fucking now. <laughs> you know that. Um, but with the sickness, um, I know, uh, in, at least in the business, we're, we're all in a similar type of business. You don't uh, work, you don't get paid. <laughs> There's no replacements. There's no, you know, short short notice replacements for you. You don't get someone said, "Well, yeah, you get a sick day." No, well, no, you don't, don't sick day. You don't get sick day. You don't you get, get anything. You get up there and do the There's best no you can. You, yeah. And for me, when I uh, I have my go-to thing is Alka-Seltzer Plus cold medicine. That works for me and uh thorough flu when it's really bad. And I've done it where I've been, you know, taking warm gym uh, warm gym beam and cocaine. Okay, yeah, well, I can. I guess I could do that, but I'm not. I don't do that. Uh, I just. What? Do you, okay. No. What's your real thing? Oh, really? That's your fucking thing? <laughs> I'm, uh, I, sorry, I'm looking over my glasses at Bill and I go, "That's your fucking thing?" Yeah. Just a little bit. I think. I just think we. I mean, at our age, you think you can start worrying about your heart soon? No, I'm not doing. I mean, not, no, I'm not talking about a huge bump or anything. Just, just a little tiny bit. Yeah, you're, yeah, like I said, he's a man of fucking control, isn't he? You never see him getting like too fucked up or anything like that, Luke. I'm looking uh, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes, man. <laughs> I know, but he, we've been there together yeah. sometimes. God, uh, his wife has come out and grabbed both of us by the ear and drug us around the parking lot. And no, we had we had this discussion before, and we don't have to man, explain how Luke is. is hot Luke in kind of a strange way. That you know? girl is 17 years old, maybe at most. There's a hot girl outside. It's definitely in her 20s. Okay, if you well, need to look at well, her. That girl's a high school girl. Yeah, no, she, she's, she, she's, she's, she's got a tattoo, no, she's man. A, no, I, it doesn't oh, matter. There's fucking 10-year-olds no. that have tattoos now. Jesus. Yeah, no, no, that Everybody's girl. inked up. Hell, my mother's got a tattoo. No, I don't no need way, it. really? Yeah. My mom don't have oh, no tattoo. Oh, God. She doesn't realize how cute she is yet. But stop this, guys. It's enough. Enough, enough, enough. But she's she got like she's 12, man. man. Well, they're actually old enough to drive because they drove here, but... Uh, that's not the law in uh, Florida. Oh, okay. So I'm going to get to this conversation. This is fucking great. Okay. Y'all listen to it's me. Barbara. 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 Hi, Barbara. How you doing? So uh, have you seen, okay, have you been watching Winter Olympics? No. Oh, it was like, yeah, no. And you? Uh, no. Just the curling that we watched him here a okay. couple nights ago. Okay, I'm going to get good fill in. Um, uh, that one Russian It started, it started almost hot. two weeks. It's, it's. Two weeks ago. Oh, that Canadian girl? No, the American? Russian cur- curler, man. She's a oh, yeah, beautiful she's eyes, man. She, she, she was pretty hot. I think her name's Slivana yeah. or something. It's uh, Svet, it's Svetlana. 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 SB. Svetlana. Svetlana. Oh, she's, I thought that. It's know, like Svet with a V in front of it. Svet. Oh, Svet. Svetlana. Svet. She's like the uh, uh, short Russian sweet ballerina male older bride. Yeah, I bet that's, she that's is. what you yeah. think you're gonna get. And, well, and her, you gotta watch out. Yeah, she's well, busy. Well, then I found she's out it's her husband that she curls with. Remember She's married the to the guy that she curls with. Boris. Well, yeah. I bet she does curl. He hasn't buy curls. The curly hairs. Yeah. Of, his, of his nutsack. Hey, Luke, I'm playing you. See, of his nutsack. Oh. Yeah, I, I would have said cod sack, but your what? Cod sack. Cod sack. Cod sack. Cods. Cods. By the cods, man. Nads, cods. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're going. Um, okay. Unless I was going to do a poem like, eat me raw, balls and all. Don't stop there. Eat the hair. If you want a snack, you can eat my sack. That's red. That's like I read, right? I think so. There's a song, uh, uh, I went know. to a bar and dance. What they do? They took off the socks and they took off their shoes. They took off their shirts and they took off their pants. I had a hunch they weren't going to dance. <laughs> I'm not going to do rest because it's really filthy. It, it, it's, it was filthy. I sang it in college. But it's, it's and it, listen, this is explicit. I'll say fuck. I'll say shit. But I can't do this shit, one. Fuck hell and damn. It's kind of like it's almost oh. like it's. Uh, I'm going to cover up the mic when I do it. Okay. 
Uh, no. I had a hunch. She won't kind of dance. They. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, man. Remember that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I covered that. up the mic because that's just too filthy and I can't no, do it. it's not too filthy. It is my not, God. man. What's wrong with finger fucking, man? Okay, okay. That's all right. That's you saying it. Okay, so we're talking about the. These <laughs> this are, must be that Catholic guilt complex. Uh, thing probably. That no, I don't it's have. not. It, he doesn't want to have to go to <laughs> but, um, not mass. What's the no, other thing? Oh, no, confession. Not, not confession. No, no, yeah. no, not a dad at all. If there's, it's um, I have an 11 year old daughter, and I try to, you know what? There's a certain amount of things I could say, and I think, you know what? I can explain to her. But I don't know if I went through that amount of filth, I'd be able to explain um, that. Well, if you, honestly, that's you, me. And I'm not being a hypocrite about no, it. No, because you could say it, I'm and I don't have to explain it. I just say, yeah, what? I'm wondering why anybody would let an 11 year old listen to a podcast marked mature anyway. What do you say, let? If 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 I try to put the controls on there, oh, yeah, and you so go over to the house, mind. and they go, and they find out she's had a sleepover. Oh, your father does a podcast. Let's listen to it. <laughs> and they don't have, I can't control what they're listening to. Get it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, well, and and as soon as you say you can't do that, wh- what are we going to do? They're going to do it. We're going to do that. So I got to watch my behavior somewhat. I realize I'm going to be somewhat dirty, but I'm going to go to a level where I'm not totally filthy. That's my thing. And if Luke and I get out of line and she does listen to it. No, 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 no. You could be you, and I'll just say they're being filthy because they you, don't concern themselves about it. But they're not being, it's not wrong. And you can always, it's not wrong. And you can it's, always, it's, 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 you, that's the way the, the world is. You can always do the fallback. Go ask your mother. Okay, so we're going back. I'm, <laughs> this is the hurting cat part. We go back to the, the Winter Olympics. And I started watching. My daughter and my wife love the, the, the figure skating. They love figure skating. And Tara Lipinski is hosting it with this guy. And he comes out, and he has a hairdo like uh, Gary Oldman did in uh, Dracula. Remember that hairdo in Dracula? Bram Stoker's Dracula? His hair was kind of like tied up, and it was thing, and he's wearing some kind of frilly thing. And it was kind of <laughs> gay. It was kind of It was really gay, actually. But, and, and it started two weeks ago. Like on after the opening ceremonies, he content. He's a nice guy. And listen, like uh, Luke and Bill and uh, Josh and I said, I love gay people. This guy is militantly gay because Tara Lipinski wore an outfit that was kind of loud for a commentator. This guy <laughs> trumped her, and I hate to say the word Trump, but in this thing, but he so beat her ass and. Ganging it up, like yeah, he, he, he wasn't. He's not a transsexual. He's he's in, he's he is certainly gay because he 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 went off. He, he went just off the chart. Every, every, every uh, consecutive show, he continually got gayer and gayer and gayer, and then he ended up being this superhero. I saw two days ago a superhero gay guy that could shoot rainbows out of his hand and his ass. <laughs> and then, you know what? We don't. You notice how we don't. We don't focus on the sex acts being gay. No. But he's so comfortable with his style. He just went way out. And there, there you look at Tara Lipinski, and she's like, I can't even fucking compete with this guy. Yeah. He wore this. His hair. He had a hair up like a, a Joanne Woodward did in the 1954 Academy Awards would. But the gown was. Like something from Star Trek, an evening gown from Star Trek. Yeah, as long as it didn't have a uh, no, but it Howard wasn't. Hughes uh, it bullet wasn't. bra. Almost, almost, almost. Really? What amazes me like is how much they and can we, spin in circles, man. No, and fast. I'd be off. I'd fucking. I'd be puking. I'd be, I'd be all over the well, place, I, man. Well, how the fuck I'm do you spin about the, like the that, man? The commentator, right now, we can get back to that. A commentator. The, a commentator. Not, not, not a, a commentator, tater, but a commentator. Not a, fa- not a, a, fancy, commentator. Not a fancy tater. Not a plain just, tater. Just, just a, a commentator. commentator. Yeah. Don't be a hater about the commentator, okay? <laughs> so this guy went way over, and I think not over the line, but he went so far out there. It's like, holy shit, that is amazing. That I didn't know that level existed. Oh, yeah, man. Dude. i never seen it. I've seen... I seen there's a show I watch High Maintenance. There's a show on HBO called High Maintenance. It's wonderful. How you guys doing? All right, good. There's a show called High Maintenance, and uh, there was these uh, guys. They go to nightclubs and they they 
dress. I mean, we go down to Key West. There's guys that continually dress in drag and stuff like that. And this guy, even though like he wasn't Lala in Middle drag, too. was so much gayer than the drag guys that dress up like um, Julie Newmar. There you from go. That thing. It was amazing. And he kept on going. And I have to say, this guy made such a statement. It just re changed my level and say, hey, you know what? He's doing it for all these other guys that want to wear these outfits. You know what you get when you cross a penis with a potato? What? A dictator. Oh. <laughs> I guess that's the chance that I should I should I should end this line of uh, uh, question. Just because you can dress like that doesn't mean you should. This guy did. This guy this guy was experimental in his clothes. As, and as, as my white white points out, out to me, just because I can grow my eyebrows that, that long doesn't mean that I should. Oh, this, this guy was very stylish. I, I, I think it looked a bit ridiculous. Uh, it certainly let people know. Um, you could know from, if you were looking at him from the planet Saturn, you'd know that guy was gay without a, without a telescope. Um, and we're moving on from that. Uh, I also noticed uh, you guys are, are, are not biting on anything I have so far, but uh, I noticed when I'm bartending, I love people asking me questions. Just come up and ask me an innocuous question. Any question. Ask me any How question. How far is it to the Keys? <laughs> That's yeah, a great question. We're going down I said you're, very, you're in luck. You're within 100 miles of the Keys. Of any point in the Keys, I would say. Or within 100 miles of any point in the Keys. Because you are. Or people go, wow, this is really great. No, I love being talking, in Key West. I'm not talking specifically Keys questions. Oh. Any question that you would come and ask a question. Ask me any question. Any question. What's a hen weigh? Uh, three or four pounds. <laughs> Depending on how much that's you a, feed That's them. kind of a skinny that's an old, chicken. That's man. an old joke, man. Come on. <laughs> that's an old <laughs> No, they come up. I'm telling you, I get questions. Does your I'm, meatloaf? What? Does my Does meatloaf? Your meatloaf? Okay, Does your kumquat? Okay. Uh, but, hey, if Jack helped you on a horse, would you help Jack off a horse? Yeah, I'd help Jack off a horse. <laughs> if Pays a lot of money. If you're in artificial in, inspiration. All right. There you go. Insemination? Man, there's a lot of money to be had in, uh, in horse insemination. Okay, you Jesus. guys aren't biting. But I'm going to tell you. Oh, there's someone asking a question. I would love this. I love a good question <laughs> from someone. Are you open right now? No. Hell no. No. I uh, Today, Lee Sharp called me. <laughs> And oh, I, waited, buddy, I did the tacit. I wanted to do the answer machine. I waited five seconds. He called up and goes, hello, hello. Hi, you've reached a catch. If you'd like to hit, if you'd like to order food, hit number one. If you'd like to speak to a manager, hit number two. If you'd like to find the hours of where we're operating, hit number three. All of the questions, hit number four. And he started hitting the buttons. <laughs> And the funny thing about it is Luke really wasn't calling the catch. He was calling a place called um, the Golden Rule. And, uh, uh, the what? Up in uh, Coral Gables, I think. Okay, whatever. Yeah. So I, I said, you know what? That was a perfect timing for that. And uh, I just love questions. So, And you guys have no questions. No. Unfortunately, I have right lots now. of questions. Oh, let's hear some. What kind of wine is that? I'm drinking Merlot right now. Right before that, I had uh, Malbec. Does it have like a hint of Madagascar vanilla and pencil lead? You know what? It does have a hint of vanilla. And uh, (laughs) it's very uh, fruit forward in the beginning. (laughs) Well, it's good that it's fruit forward. It's important to know where it stands fruit wise. And and it's a medium dryness. Okay. All right there. And it has uh, pretty good legs. And not a lot of people. That's like a fifty-year-old woman. Good legs. <laughs> Good legs. Medium dryness. <laughs> Tight a hole. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes not. Not a Jenna Jameson one, right? Oh, that one was great, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I always want to ask you, uh, and this is a touchy subject, maybe. Touchy feely? No, no, not touchy like that. Touchy meaning answering. Do you have a game plan for twenty years from now? 
Do you ever envision where you're gonna, what you're going to be like and what's going to happen 20 years from now? Well, I'm probably going to have a stroke at some point, and I will either be able to wipe my ass or I won't. Is that your whole plan? Um, yeah, man. Fuck it. I'm going to work until I drop dead anyway, so. Pretty much. My, my, game, my game plan for the next 20 years is very similar to my game plan for the next 20 minutes. Yeah, man. Oh, really? You don't change? You don't, you don't have one? No. Get up in the morning and figure out what I'm going to do today. See, uh, uh, okay, okay. You know what? And it makes sense because you don't have children, right? No. No. You don't have children, no, okay. Hell no. Uh, I, I, even though it's not I, I, am, I, I, my I, I am my own, my own child. I, I used to be my own child, and it, it was great. I could do whatever I wanted with that. But I'm thinking I got to get through, I mean, 14 years to get her through college. Or not 14. Yeah, 14 if she goes to graduate school. Well, you better make sure she gets a good fucking job so that she can sleep on her couch and shit <laughs> when you get too old to fucking work. Well, we, we're putting money away for her uh, college tuition so she doesn't have to worry about at least she won't be broke when um, she gets out of college. You know what I mean? Are you on we that, a, uh, on that uh, what do you call that? that prepaid? Uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we go, we're doing some saving. That we're doing and it's going pretty, pretty Where, big. Well, the, the the rate college that you can lock in that low price now. That well, actually, we got about we got about we got about a, we uh, locked out because it came in a large sum, which we which we put entirely into that Luke. Mm. And uh, that one thing, and my next thing is for their li- livelihood. So, I, but ideally, I want to be around because I know it would be a it would cause them pain. So what I would do is, I'm thinking I gotta be around. I'd like to be around for another, and I, I'm gonna gotta be somewhat vibrant for about 27 years. 27 years. I'm 54. That means 81. Yeah, I, I, I'll be lucky to make it to 62. You know what, Luke? That's not that's not written in uh, uh, in stone. Um, you, can what, you can do whatever you want. No, man. I'm, we could chop your head off and cryogenically freeze it and bring it back. I, oh, God. I wouldn't want I'm that at all, man. I'm thinking on the body man. of a 40-year-old or a 20-year-old. Oh, fuck. How about we took your head and put it on side on top of a large dog, and you could just run around? That doesn't sound like very in, uh, pleasant the, either. Uh, what was that, Invasion of Body Snatchers? No, no. You're thinking of that uh, alien was, movie, man, where they... Uh, it was an Invasion of Body Snatchers when they... When he, wasn't that? No, that was uh, Mars Attacks or something. With uh, uh, Jack Nicholson plays the president and they shoot him right off the bat. Yeah. What's happening, man? I don't, I don't think they shoot him right off the bat. But I'll let, I'll let that uh, go. Hey, listen, I also wanted to talk to you about this stuff. Uh, you were um, checking out the young lady over there. Uh, I was just. Do you, have uh, any, do you have any clue of what their age? Do you have an age thing when you look at them? Um, I, all I see is uh, if they got boobs, I like boobs, and and uh, she was just she just stuck out kind of odd because she had fourteen odd, girls that have boobs. Yeah, I know girls get boobs a lot younger now. Yeah. In high school, we only, I mean, in elementary school, we only had one girl that got boobs early, and that was Tracy White. She had nice big boobs. Hopefully she don't listen to this. Well, even if she does, she I, knows I remember that she, I was, she was the first girl to get boobs. So There was a 13-year-old girl in my uh, eighth grade class, and she was um, very, she expressed interest. I didn't know what to do with that. Let's say, you know what, since we're... Uh, Kind of flagging here. Why don't we go into? Yeah, we're flagging. Are we flagging? Are we flagging? flagging. Let's get. Let's get into the final episode of episode four. Dentures held hostage. Okay. And I'll start out now. I just want you to know, I'm the narrator. Anything in brackets is me. I'm narrator. Hang on, hang on. God damn it. I'm Craig, right? Yeah. I'm blind. Nice to meet you. Okay, I put, I put your uh, Luke. You're not there until the second page, and I put cool. I put L on that, and that's uh, see there where Ron is, and I'll read the slurring. You don't have to read anything in the brackets, okay? This way, it's no confusing. 
And let me recap what happened. So now we have our heroine, uh, Janine, who has her dentures. That She's was on heroin? Our heroine, heroine, heroine. Oh, oh, oh. Meaning our hero, female hero. Uh, or, and, and then we, well, actually we have male heroes, Tim, I guess. But the, the woman that's in peril is Janine. And uh, Ron Benary. And all these names are changed to protect them. And they're very close to them. And these things actually happen here. Um, had her denture stolen by Ron Benary, and he tried to <laughs> hold them hostage for $1,000. And um, up until last week, we had uh, Jim walking off. Uh, if you go and get your. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I think you're sorry, out of time to go there. I so, didn't know you needed one. I got you Tim, while I was up we there. We had Tim. Um, Ron Benary come into the bar, try to sell the dentures, um, and cop showed up. Cop showed up. He uh, castigated Tim, the bartender, saying, "Hey, you know, you you always call me for this stuff, and no one's reported any uh, false teeth stolen." And he left, and then Ron Benary leaves, and Jim runs off with um, was it Mark, who, the gay man at the bar. Uh, carrying him across the street because he's drunk. He wanted to make sure he was safely across the street. There now we're back to the bar in uh, the catch, and it's <laughs> we have um, a big working class move. Jovially bounces up to the bar from upstate New York. Craig, hey Jerky, give me a Heineken. No shit talking. I heard about you. Tim turns and puts on his game face. What the fuck? I mean, pardon me, sir. <laughs> I'm up the parking lot up with you. As he stumbles to, stumbles to stay up, I'm one badass you don't want to mess with. Almost falling down. <laughs> right, right. You appear to be a formidable opponent. <laughs> Craig shadow boxes with the payphone in the corner and appears to be losing the fight. Come on over here. Have a seat. Here's your beer. Drink on up there, buddy. Craig. Some jackass tried to sell me some false teeth outside until his old lady showed up. He popped those chompers in her mouth. They began making out, slobbering over each other. It was a mess. The door opens, and a duo of Ron Benary and Janine come stumbling in the bar, slurring. Mm -hmm. My lady and I would like some of your finest domestic fucking beer wings, and it's happy hour. Right? <laughs> How would you like the wings? We'll take a medium rare. I mean, what style, man? Interrupting Tim. Fancy. <laughs> Hold on. What flavor? Hot, medium, mild. Come on. You know, you know the routine. The sheriff walked. A sheriff abruptly walks in and approaches Ron Benary, Ron Benary, noticeably wearing rubber gloves. Are you Ron Benary? Yeah, he is, but I didn't report the dentures are stolen. The sheriff <laughs> appearing perplexed by the comment. Ron Benary, you are under arrest for defecating into a mailbox. Ron is handcuffed and taken away. Without I a step, you after you booked. Craig turns to Tim. That was so romantic. Just like the end of Casablanca, man. That's the end of the story. Dentures held hostage. <laughs> As told to you by the Keys bartender players. Yes, that was tearsome. That was a tearsome uh, fall right there. So, Luke, tonight you go and play at um, the pilot house? Yeah, man. I only got this Wednesday and next Wednesday, and then I'm not there on Wednesday. Oh, okay, no, but I got to hear your routine. You're going to leave here. Give me a rundown of your routine. Okay, I'm going to give you an interview. When you leave here, what do you do? Well, normally I would smoke, <laughs> smoke some pot joint. on the way there, but since I'm out of pot, I won't be smoking my pre-gig joint unless one of the other guys shows up with a joint. So what are you going to do? Well, I'm just going to drive there and bitch about not having any weed to smoke. Who's your lineup You're, tonight? Uh, Alex and uh, Jamie and Rob. Well, okay, yeah. they, 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 there's a good shot. That there'll be some. Uh, there you go. Okay, so, what, so what's your alternate plan? Were you going to have a beer? Well, yeah, I always have a beer. Are you going to keep a, a tight eye out on your keys? A what? <laughs> your keys. <laughs> your fucking keys. Oh. Um, no, he's already lost those. 
They're sitting right here. No, no. When you go to the pilot house, or you got your keys in your pocket. Oh no, I can't stand shit in my pocket when I play. Oh, that's man. a good plan. That's a good plan. I always throw my shit on my amp, man. And that's a smart move. With someone that keeps track of their things as well as you do. <laughs> so you can throw no, all your I, shit I, on your amp, right? I do agree. I don't. Yeah. I, I clean my pockets out when I play too. You know, it's good. Especially you, in the summer when you're sweating like oh, a motherfucker, man, man and, and you get, you know, you, every, anything that's in your pocket just intensifies a, a sweat ring or whatever, you get man. That pool. And it drips down your back and down your butt crack and under your ball sack. Oh, and and, and, and if you got like a little raw of a butthole from oh. like shitting too much and the sweat pours oh, okay. down and hits you right like square. Do you need any vegetables? Sure. Uh, once in a while, man. Do you wait? wait. Yeah, no, I eat, I eat a lot of green, a lot of roughage. Wait. I well, like, you weren't. He was talking about his asshole. I'm into, yeah, so I'm into it's, it, it's, man. From, it's from standing up and with a sweaty ass playing and sitting on the toilet. Hey, you're and talking to for a bartender. Yeah, same thing. We're sweating it. I, you know, but I don't have a sore asshole. Well, you must be use the tux regularly. I don't use the tux. I eat vegetables. Man, and I like that. I don't use tux. I don't tux have a pads are my friend in the summer. Oh. This is where we're going again. I cannot we should get wear some fucking, fucking long britches in the summertime no. down here, man. Okay. My, I get ash rash so bad, it's just not funny. Well, who one of us uh, wears long? I wear them in the morning sometimes. If I uh, if I go to a meeting, uh, my rotary meeting, I'll go uh, on Wednesday morning. No, if it's, cool it's, enough, if it's cool enough, I'll immediately put jeans on and boots. Yeah. But, but I mean, I, it's, I, I, it's not cool enough. Yeah, we don't. And most of the time... I'll wear sandals and shit like that. I like yes. owner's sandals, man. Flip I know if you work behind a bar, man, you got to wear some shoes. Yep. You don't want to be walking around with your bare ass toes. When you got a fucking keg or glass uh, yeah, bottle yeah, bar. Yeah, 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 I can see no, that. No, that's the only reason. Yeah. Because I'll tell you, I'd, 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 I'd walk around with uh, sandals all the time. Like you, Jesus you still get did. people come up and take pictures of you. Yeah, you still play, you still play barefoot most of the time, right? Kick yeah, your, yeah, kick most your of the time. Off. Yeah. We get people come up and take pictures of Cody and I. I laugh like hell. They're like, what? You ain't never seen anybody barefoot before? What the hell's wrong with you? Yep. You know, I guess if you live up north where it's cold, you just get used to shoes all the time, man. And then when you live down here where it's hot, you know, you get used to flip-flops and shorts. You know, it's funny. Where I'm from in Philadelphia, if you walked into one of my local bars like uh, McGeehan's on Common Cottage, I'm sending a shout-out to that, and you walked in with a pair of sandals, you get a load of shit lasting forever, but... You're in a fucking city, man. You don't want to be walking around. There's fucking glass all over the place and shit like that. Yeah, you should remind me when I was living down in Galveston. We'd go up to Houston. Mm-hmm. Laugh like hell. We'd walk in, of course, wearing flip-flops, shorts, and cowboy hats. And like, hey, hell you got? Where the hell are you boys from? Galveston? Like, yeah, how can you tell? And that's a Galveston thing? Oh, walking yeah. around in flip-flops? Yeah. It's, it's Is the that beach. a cowboy thing? Is that what happened well, in no, the it's late the, 1800s? It's, no, it's just it's the beach. Showed up. I was in Florence... South Carolina <laughs> doing a gig and I went to a grocery store and this big giant redneck Peggerwood looks at me and goes, Where's your boots? I said, What? Where's your Where's boots? I said, Oh, they're getting resold. <laughs> <laughs> and I was wearing flip flops and a cowboy hat and then he asked me where my horse was and I said, Well, I got about two hundred and fifty of them under that fucking van engine out there. I do the, your fucking van. I love this stuff. Um, but that's all, you know, the dude was sporting to, like, just kick my ass. Yeah, and it's it's for, yeah, yeah, and, f- you know, when you're in the deep south, you look a little bit odd. They fuck with you yeah. bad. They do that. You know what? They do that up north. Well, yeah. I, I walked in a bar. I told you a bar. I've never been that far oh, When I was working at Treasury, on the I had a uh, loft apartment in northeast Philadelphia, and there was a local bar. It was called um. Oh, fuck, I forget uh, the name of it. People in Minnesota are nice. They don't fuck with you. They're really super oh, no, nice. But I, went only in, I, went in, I went in this bar. I, wear, I, I took off my jacket, but I'm wearing a white shirt, blue striped tie, and I'm going in with my gray pants and stuff like that. And I'm having a beer. I'm just gray sitting down. Gray pants? Gray pants. Gray pants. Not gray. gray. Oh, I thought you said gray pants. pants. Not gray Gray. Gray, gray pants. Dress shoes, sit down, drink a beer. Guy looks tips? at me and goes, "How long do you spend to stay, uh, stay here?" And I go, "It's like three uh, thirty in the afternoon." I'm going, um, "What the fuck?" You know, it's like you're not closing up yet. And he goes, "We don't close till like 
two, three o'clock. If we didn't, and closing time is two o'clock in Philadelphia, regular bar. It's three o'clock. And they said, why? Why? Uh, you close up super early? It was three o'clock in the afternoon. He goes, because uh, this is a biker bar. You're going to come in. There's going to be a bunch of warlocks, and they come and see you. Holy shit. It's gonna, you're going to have a problem. And I go, okay. And they said, well, my name's Jim. I live down the street. What should I do to make this a regular place? Do I have to come in here regular clothes? Can I come in and just stop in a couple times and make it? I didn't want to cause any problems or something. And I was able to carry sometimes. So I'm like, I hate to get in the thing. I was working at Treasury at the time. So that would have been a big issue if some bikers messed with a guy from Treasury. G-Man? I wasn't a G-Man. G-Man, G-Man, River Nooters (laughs) 2. No, but... I uh, I went I I went back I left the place and went home and then the other day uh, then another day I let my I thought I let my hair grow out Is that a bag of weed? Oh. What do you got? Weed? That's what I was hoping for but I was hoping it was weed. No, I'm out of weed. That's not a good that's not a goodie bag. And uh, I went back with and it came back with a t-shirt a couple days later when my hair probably tussled and that wasn't good enough. Because <laughs> I almost got my ass kicked. Almost got my well, ass kicked. I walked in there. I tried to be kind of, uh, I don't even know what that was in uh, the mid-90s. The mid-90s, 22 years ago when I was 32 years old. But uh, I was a strapper, a strapping young man. Uh, then. I am... Um, I to get. I've always been able to bullshit my way out. I couldn't fight yeah. my way out of a wet paper bag. I ain't into. I'm a guitar player, man. I want to. I can't yeah, smack don't, people don't, don't around. Start, don't start it, man, dude. That was a, what was that? Cody broke his hand a couple years ago. We got yeah. in a damn fight. Broke his hand. Yeah. was out of work for six months. Yeah, man. You can't fucking do you that can't, shit. Can't be punching stuff. No, I wasn't. I mean, I I knew right away. If it's a biker bar, there's not nothing I could do. I mean. Well, I don't. I don't have much problem. But I get. I get along just fine in biker bars. Well, I mean, if they get to I know as well. I, 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 I know, but if they get to know me, if they get to know me, I would get along fine. Now I get down here. I'm, we I'm don't. A, we I'm don't a, have. I'm we a don't, quantity. We don't really have real bikers down here, man. We, we got, got the outlaws. We got doctors and lawyers. Yeah, the outlaws. Yeah. Are, um, the the hardcore outlaws you'll never meet no, them. They don't come they down, don't here? Come down no, here. No, no, they Didn't just they have a club they, up here. Well, they have a club in Miami, but yeah. they but that's all that's just for show, and they let in the doctors and lawyers to pay all the dues, so the other guys can do their shit without. And then they can point to see see we did the toys for twats yeah, run. We did this run. We did that toys run. for what? Toys for twats. Is that toys for twats? Twats. Oh, jeez. Fuck, Luke, man, you can't that, say that shit. That we had about uh, kids. Yeah. It's about the fucking kids. So, hey, yeah. every kid in the, in the fucking keys got a bicycle this year yes, and a fucking did. helmet, man. Now, yes, back in did. our day, man, man that's Steve, what's wrong Steve, with all these Steve, fucking my, my, kids, my, my, man. My they're, buddy Steve they're, stepped up and gave away a whole shitload of helmets. <laughs> oh, was it the guy from the bike shop? Yeah. That guy did an awesome fucking Dude, job right he, there. He gave away a shit ton of helmets. Oh, hey, I, I wanted. Um, I should have got one just for drunken. Yeah, wait, wearing for, for drinking. I know. I'm going to put you on my old. Uh, Race bike helmets. We're just going to put a straw in it for you. <laughs> you need it. You need. To, you need to, uh, to strap those drinks around you. I want to. I want to. Um, we're going to start doing our shout outs, but we're going to talk. You. You can talk about your shows and interrupt me if you like. But I ran into a guy. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be going back to our new venues. We're expanding that. We had a, a big spike in listenership. Uh, we have a new potential sponsor. It's a handcrafted, small batch, premium spirits, premium craft spirits called Keyed Up. It's going to be manufactured, distilled here in uh, the Keys. Cool. Are they going to do uh, any vodka whiskey? and tequila. Oh. But I'll, do, you know I'll do tequila. It, it, it'll, it'll pay the bills. I don't mind and tequila. And I met the guy, John. His oh. wife's in charge of it. Uh, Keyed Up Spirits. You can uh, reach them. You can check out Keyed Up Spirits. That's K-E-Y apostrophe D. Up Spirits on Facebook. Uh, on Instagram, it's uh, at Keyed Up Spirits. One word, Keyed Up Spirits that way. At Twitter, Keyed Up Spirits. Uh, and the, um, the uh, oh my God, I can't believe I can read this. 
on the internet at the the address is www keyed up no apostrophe k e y d u p spirits dot com and uh, they're going to be down at keys they're going to be one of our uh, I'm going to make the uh, assumption that they're going to be our primary they're going to be one of our sponsors sounds good to me and then we're going to um, oh, much, you know. much like the Germans did in the last century we're going to conquer the rest of the keys with the uh, show we're I'm going to lay down the we're going to drive to Poland we're driving through Poland, but it's all going to be through Keys. <laughs> We're going to go all the way down to Key West. We're going to establish ourselves with authority. Well, all I want to tell you about my wife's sat nav in the VW. What? <laughs> what, what, what? The wife's sat nav in the VW. The white sat nav. My wife's sat nav in a VW. It only wants to go to Poland. Oh, okay. I get it. Okay. Did you get that? Uh, I I can't hear for shit, man. Okay. Wife sat nav in the Volkswagen. She sat in a Volkswagen. No, the, the sat nav, the satellite navigation on her Volkswagen. Oh, oh, sat nav. Oh, well, okay. I didn't get it either. Sat nav. I, mean, yeah. I mean, Luke and I. Doesn't just matter. Started. Doesn't matter where you program it to go. It just it just automatically points to Poland. Mm. To Poland? Yep. Just wants to go to Poland. Wow. Because it's German. Yeah, yeah. It wants to invade yeah. Poland. Yeah, yeah. So VW, but I don't yeah, think VW yeah, is going to yeah. be doing too much damage in Poland. Satellite navigation. Wow. <laughs> I see people all the time. It's like fucking turn that shit off, or either that or learn your fucking distances. You know, it says like two miles to your fucking turn, and they don't know how far that is. No, two so, miles is anywhere so between doing, like ten feet and. So they're doing ten miles an hour, holding up the road with their blinker on, and they start to turn, and they go back on the road, and yeah, they start no. turning. Like, Fuck, man! Wait till it says five hundred feet or something. Yeah, well, the, the sat nav hates my hates my voice. It and just has oh, fucking me. Siri is a goddamn sen- <laughs> a fucking sensitive fucking cunt, oh, man. Well, okay. You, you know, can't wait. even talk to that fucking bitch the way you want to talk to her. And Luke's it's fucking her getting Luke, all offended and Luke, shit. Luke talks to Surrey, and there's he gets all no filthy. Need for that. Yeah, no, no need I just for that. talk the way I fucking talk, and Siri's like, nee, 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 for that. fuck you, you fucking artificial <laughs> intelligence. There's no fucking way I'm hurting your fucking feelings, you goddamn cunt. Just do what I fucking say. You know what? When they take over, we I guess we have to stay mainly out of it. Luke, Luke's going to be Luke's going to be locked out of everything. Yeah, the robots are going to. Oh no, man! Siri gets pissed at me, and she she fucking shuts off. Won't even no, fucking talk to me. That's and be she starts calling me up. Fuck you! Don't fucking ever call me up. The fuck is up supposed to be? <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? We gotta have to refer to the backpack titty guy story. Oh, here we go. Okay, and that's going to be next week. We're going to start uh, the. Uh, the ongoing story with the back. But I don't know about the backpack titty guy story. Okay, uh, well, I'm bartending. It's uh, Saturday night. A guy comes in. He has a fucking backpack. Thank you. Thanks. Sean you is the man. Say, hey, guys. What's going on out there? Pour some wine. This is Sean, our uh, infamous our lovely bartender. Bartender, bartender extraordinaire. Mr. Likes 2006. Woo! Yes, he was. Mr. Likes 2006. Yeah, yes, man. Yes, he was. I was like 2010. And he invented a great shot called Come in a Hot Tub. Come in a Hot Tub. Yep. Okay. And it really does one. look like Come in a Hot Tub. Okay. <laughs> Backpack titty guy. Let's get that in. This guy's a, Thanks, a poorly taken care of 60-year-old. Oh. Well, he okay. could have been a very poorly taken taken care of 50-year-old, too. No. He, he, I, I could tell. If okay. I cut him in half, it would be 60 rings. Okay. I mean, I, I, for some reason, maybe... Oh, okay. that would be a really I bad... I look pretty shitty most of the time myself. No, People no, think no, I'm a no, bum. Luke, Luke, you know. I, 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 it's like, look, it's homeless Santa okay. Claus. No, this guy, <laughs> this guy came in. This guy came in with uh, three bags of groceries and says, you guys can use this. Like, and I no, said, no, we, we can't. Really can't. We cannot take food off the Thanks street so. and start cooking it in the restaurant. And then he comes in and says how he got kicked out of his house down the street. Well, he still lives down the street. So Maybe. obviously he didn't get kicked out of his house. So he has this big backpack, and he kept it on his back. A short, kind of fat, not short fat, you know, maybe five, eight. Short and fat. Okay. So he's talking, and he's, I gave him a beer. He paid for it, which was good. And there were two young girls right in the corner over here. I'm pointing over in the corner of the bar, and uh, they're in their mid-20s, I'd have to say. Yeah, mid-early. Very attractive. Very attractive girls. And he proceeds to tell a joke. 
and it's a joke I know. But he skips <laughs> over two thirds of the jokes, and he says, "Windshield wipers." I love titties. Woo! Like that. And I go, "What happened?" <laughs> Where are the rest of the and joke? Like this. Oh, I was telling a joke. I said, "You just told the punchline." It starts out with a um, guy gets a patient, shows a psychiatrist, sees his patient. The patient has a problem. He's obsessed with breast. And he goes, uh, a psychologist says, well, let's do, start with a little word association. And he says, uh, pillows. And he goes, two soft breasts. And he goes, okay, uh, what if I say t- um, oranges? And he says, two juicy tits. And he goes, okay, okay, I see where you're going. How about windshield wipers? He goes, titties. And the guy goes, how in the hell do you get titties from windshield wipers? He goes, easy, doc. The windshield wipers going back and forth. And he, he, we, but we went and told the girls that joke by going to the punchline. Oh, that guy just walked in the ladies' room. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> that was fucking great. But with any compunction, because the men's room's open. Um, well, and you can always tell when you're in so a, yeah. if, anytime you go in a bathroom and there's no urinal, yeah, it's, it's like you probably walked in the wrong seater, one. If it's a single seat or why? Well, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a urinal in the men's. There is, but if it's a single seat bathroom, you don't want, I don't want two guys, I don't, you're not going to be sitting. When a guy's pissing next to your head. No. Not unless you're at the Caribbean club and you're that oh, desperate to take no. a shit. No, I'll go, I'll, go, I'll go hit the porta potty out back, man. There, um, folks, I'll go hit the porta potty out there, back. At the Caribbean club, right there, and it's iconic. It's an iconic location. If you go to Caribbean club, it's a tiny bathroom, uh, and there's a sink. Wait, it starts out from the door. Urinal. Starting right. Urinal, sink, sink toilet. Shitter. And you go in there, but it's open in the public. If you're taking it, I mean, I'll tell you, if I have to go, I will go. I will go. To the Thomas Cropper? Yeah, I will. I will go. There you go. Here's the well, one you know what? I, I think we've reached uh, almost the 48th yeah. minute. I think we should say our um, adieus. One last little joke, oh, yeah, man. You've got to get going psychologist. There, so this girl's, you know, getting ready to graduate psychology school and and she's going to be a you psychiatrist psych- psychology you don't have to pronounce yeah, it and, and so at any rate so she's going through with her instructor and and he says okay what's wrong with this patient and she observes him for a little while and wow he, he looks like he has schizophrenia and stuff you know and a couple more patients oh he's OCD and blah blah, blah obsessive compulsive disorder blah blah then she comes up with this dude, and, and he's sitting there with a handful of peanuts, and he's jerking off. And she's like, I, I just can't figure it out. So she asks the guy, what's wrong with you? And he says, I'm fucking, fucking nuts. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh, well, at any rate. There that was go. a good uh, I'm <laughs> glad we waited for that one. Luke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, um, fuck it. Luke, why don't you say goodbye to folks? Goodbye, folks. Um, Come back when you can't stay so long. Uh, anything else? If we don't see him before mating season, fuck you. <laughs> My name's Jim the Keys Bartender. I'm turning it over to the rest of the goodbyes over to Bill Wissinger. Thank you, guys. We do appreciate you all uh, listening to us. Hope you all have a fantastic week. We will see you next week. Enjoy your time.